Alright everybody, this is a video that I use for my teaching, for my students, it's my own uh, analysis, it's my own interpretation, it's Romeo and Juliet, I don't own anything, uh, except my own opinion. <laughs> Alright, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go, we've got Romeo and Juliet, we are focusing on the language that is in Act 2, Scene 2, um, for those of you who have watched the Bell Shakespeare um, Shakespeare Unbound. If you haven't watched it, link will be in the description below or it's also linked onto our MyEd workspace. So after you've watched it, you are going to explain in your own words what Damien Stertho says about the role of language in Act 2, Scene 2, which is so clearly, it's all about physically reaching out to each other. Like it's just, it's so dramatic, this piece of text there. It's interesting because in the, um, this of... Damien Strathos and Miranda Tapsell, their version is that they aren't physically reaching out, they are reaching out with their words, trying to connect that way. So we've got, which ironically it actually is funny, uh, so Damien Strathos said that it's really a romantic comedy until we each act, reach Act 3 where uh, Mercutio and Tybalt uh, die, because you do, you've got this... You've got the male protagonist being like, I am so lovesick for Rosaline. And they're like, you've just got to get over a man. Go out, meet someone new. And he meets Juliet at a party. So really, if you made this in modern terms, it really is a rom-com till two people die. Um, which it is. The start is so beautiful and the end is, well, quite tragic. Where Mikusha dies, Tybalt dies, Paris dies. Juliet and Romeo then commit suicide. And Fry Lawrence thinks, oh, I could have done this so much better. Um... But it's interesting because Damien Strathos believes that Romeo is in love with the idea of being in love, where he's like he's pining for Rosaline, but Rosaline doesn't like him back. But he doesn't understand what a two-way street of love looks like. So he's like, it could be amazing, and it must be with her. And you know, he's like moping and depressed, and he's got his curtain shut, and he's just hiding. And I mean, like you. Put it. Oh, I was going to find a clip of some teen comedy where they do just like it's just the cutscene of them just moping around and just on different parts of their bed and maybe into the lounge room, but then running back into their room. Um, where it's you know she's just that's this it. This is the end, and they're like no. So then he meets Juliet, and the words that he uses is literally. You know, this it is the east and Juliet is the sun. She is the light. She is the love of my life. Um, where it's just so powerful and uh, visceral is the word they used. Um, because I can't physically reach towards each other. So they're reaching towards each other with their words. Um, and painting love with their words. And, you know, I wish I was a glove. You know, like it. Uh, if I were a glove upon that hand, you know, he's... Uh, I can't touch you, but if I was that glove on your hand, then I'd be able to touch you. And that's just, oh my gosh. Um, and with love's light wings, did I overperch these walls? There are no limits to my love. I will try and fly and get above this wall. Can't physically reach you, but I am going to jump for it. And no one can stop me. No one can stop this love. Um, so that's really what Damien uh, Stathos is trying to say throughout the um, Act 2, Scene 2. So through the um, different quotes, which we've got um, from Sparknotes, um, you need to explain what the quote is in modern language, which you can literally use what is on Sparknotes for that. So how do the lovers use the language to reach each other? So we've got Romeo, but soft will light through yonder window breaks. It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou her maid art far more fair than she. Juliet, love of my life, light of my heart, come to me. You know, like I'm um, like a <laughs> like an inside out when he's like, come to me, Gardenia. Or I don't really know what he says. I can't I never understand. And all the inside out characters in the mum's head go, oh. Um and Juliet, tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself. Though not a Montague, what's a Montague? Tis nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any part belonging to a man. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, sexual innuendo, my friends. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. 
if we called Rose um, codfish, it would still smell nice. So that was the first word I thought of. Um, so Romeo, were he not called Romeo called? Were he not Romeo called? Uh, retained that dear perfection he which he owes without that title. If Romeo's name was something else, if he was not a Montague, this would just be so much easier to fall in love with him. Because really, he's just a person. He's not the feud. Like, she's literally... He's just a boy, you know, like... Uh, Romeo, with love's light wings did I owe a perch these walls. For stony limits cannot hold out, and what love can do that dares love attempt... Therefore, thy kingsmen are no stop to me. No one can hold me back. Your kingsmen can't do anything. I will fight them. Um, like, no one, no one can hold me back. The, the walls can't hold me back. I'll fly over them. Kingsmen, got nothing on me. Um, Juliet, well, do not swear it, although I joy in thee. I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Ere one can say, it lightens, ah ha ha, lightning, it lightens. Sweet good night, this bud of light, by summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower until we next meet. Until next we meet. Oh, whatever, it's in a different order. But literally, <laughs> our love is like lightning. It just, psh, and it's gone, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at myself. Um... And yet this bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower. Our, our love is growing like a flower. It's blooming. It's blossoming. It's just going to appear and then disappear the next. It's really kind of almost like foreshadowing. Like it's a, it, Our love is only like a flower. It shall die in winter. <laughs> um, so I hope that helps you guys um, answer all the questions for uh, week one. Email me if you need. People of the internet. Don't email me. <laughs> All right. See you guys.